evening and welcome. My name is Dennis Lee, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of CloudJoy. First of all, let us put our hands together once again for our opening act by Orang Orang Drum Theatre. They have an upcoming show this December at the Permaisuri Zarif Sophia Opera House in JB. And tickets are on sale now on cloudjoy.com. A bit of advertisement, yeah? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, friends from Cradle, Istana Budaya, KLPAC, DPAC, Bobo KL, Permaisuri Zarif Sophia Opera House, Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Malaysia, our esteemed partners, organizers, friends from the media, and friends from the theater, and those who are joining us online. A warm welcome to all of you, and thank you so much for joining us today at Joy Up 2023. Today, we gather here, not just to celebrate the third anniversary of Cloud Joy, but also to celebrate a remarkable year of performing arts. I say it's a remarkable year because do you know how many shows are there within these few months? There's a lot of shows. For example, last weekend, if you go to cloudjoy.com, you will find over 20 shows that you can catch within that weekend itself. And this weekend, there are 10 shows. Next weekend, there are 17 shows. That's why so many people couldn't make it today. Um, because they are either watching a show or they are being in a show. But I'm not complaining. This, because this is a good sign for the industry. It shows that the industry is booming. In fact, this year, we have seen tremendous growth and recovery of the performing arts industry in Malaysia. Shows are popping up everywhere. New venues are appearing, and existing venues, they are all fully booked again. And we have also seen an increase of demand for live entertainment and experiences. And there's also a location of new fundings by My Creative, Think City, The Christian Jit Fund, Motec, and more. In this year alone, up until today, Cloud Joy sold over 400 shows. That's an average of 10 shows per weekend. That's a lot of shows to watch. And last year, the total ticket revenue on CloudJoy itself, it was 5 million ringgit. So can you guess how much is it this year? Take a wild guess. <laughs> Eight? Ten? We are projecting by end of this year, the total ticket revenue will be 12 million ringgit. That is two and a half times more than last year. And that means there's two and a half times more money going into the performing arts scenes this year. So all this data that we have collected over the years can give us some insights into the industry of how well we are doing or what is happening within the performing arts industry. And especially in this information age, where data is power, and with great data, comes great responsibilities. <laughs> we have a lot of data in our database. For example, the trend of shows by month, the trend of shows by categories, the audience demographics, the audience behavior, and more. And so that's why we will compile all this data and analysis into an annual report. And it will be published early next year, so that theatre practitioners can download and gain some insights and perspective into the performing arts industry as a whole for the entire 2023. 
other than the annual report, I have many things I want to share with you today. But before I get started, I want to share with you why we do what we do. You see, the birth of Cloud Joy was indeed by fate. Firstly, there was this world-changing pandemic. And then there were three people from different backgrounds and different skill sets, William, Kevin, and myself. And lastly, there was this common desire to help and make a difference. So as the three of us sat down back then and asked ourselves, what can we do? And it was in that moment, the idea of cloud theatre was conceived. And cloud theatre carries not just our passion for the performing arts, but also our desire to contribute to its sustainability. And that desire became our mission by Arts for Arts. And it is with this mission that we continue to improve and innovate in order to be where we are today as CloudJoy. Since we rebranded as CloudJoy last year, we have seen tremendous growth as a platform. And this platform has brought many good impacts to the industry, acting like a central hub for performing arts and a gear that propels the industry. And we know it's not just us. A lot of people within the community know the importance of this platform as well. These are what they say. Cloud Joy showcases various local art performances, making it an excellent resource for discovering new shows. And finally, we have access to a platform like this, which makes it easy for me to discover shows happening in my area. And thank you for creating Cloud Joy and supporting the local art scene. And we are very humbled by all the feedbacks and support that we have received over the years. These words, they mean a lot to us because they empower us to continue to do what we do since the first day by Arts for Arts. Now, three years have passed. So many things have changed. But the question that we asked ourselves three years ago still resonates very deeply within all of us. And the difference now is that we don't want the industry to merely survive. We want the industry to thrive. And things are looking good. Like I mentioned earlier, the industry is booming. Plus, the recent announcement in the latest budget. The plan for the government to make Kuala Lumpur, the creative and cultural capital, is in line with what we have always wanted to achieve. And the best news of all, full tax exemption for local shows. So, you see, we are in the middle of a big change right now. We are one step closer to achieving the dreams that we have all been dreaming for so long. A dream where performing arts, it's a sustainable business, where when tourists, when they come to Malaysia, they have to catch a show before they leave. And that our shows are so good that we can start exporting them. And I believe, this dream is not far away. We can achieve it. However, in order to get there, there are many things that we need to do. And uh, there are a lot of challenges that we need to overcome first. So this year, we have done a lot of things. We organized events, we launched campaigns, and we kick-started initiatives. And we started this year with our first ever Cloud Joy Connect, where we bring all the industry players together to present their work in order to spark conversations and also to promote collaboration. And after the first Cloud Joy Connect, uh, we received a lot of positive feedbacks from the participants. And some of them from different parts of the community, they already got to know each other. And some, they already started collaborations on different projects. So CloudJoy Connect 
is one of the events that we'll, we will keep organizing in the future, but maybe focus on different themes or different areas like uh, content creation, skills improvements, publicity, and marketing. And speaking of marketing, we have also launched multiple marketing campaigns for, for the past few, few months in order to expand our reach to a wider audience and partly thanks to Cradle's support. This included digital billboards, digital screens, car stickers, online marketing, and special di discounts. However, um, this, all these campaigns that we ran resulted in the increase of our website with over 250,000 monthly page views. And our newsletter boosts an impressive 55% open rate. Thank you. But all these marketing channels, they need money. So you might ask, how about those art practitioners that don't have money? Um, we understand, we understand. It's a lot of us here. And that's why we have come up with a method. And recently, we have launched a new program called CloudJoy Emerge. It's a program to help the newcomers, especially those that are producing small shows, by elevating the burden of ticketing and marketing. If you are a creator or producer, you can apply for CloudJoy Emerge, and you will get to use CloudJoy's comprehensive ticketing platform at zero cost. CloudJoy will bear all the setup fee, ticket handling fee, and even payment processing fee. We do this as a way to give back to the community. And if you want to find out more about CloudJoy Emerge, please visit our blog on cloudjoy.com. And moving on, as we recently announced, CloudJoy is now the official ticketing partner for DPAC. We want to take this opportunity to thank DPAC to come on board and also to congratulate them on their 10th anniversary and the newly announced DPAC 2. With our new partner, DPAC, together with all our existing partners like KLPAC, Bermaisuri Zari Sofia Opera House, Bobo KL, TT Jazz and Music, BBK Network, Dr. Jason Leong, and 250 more organizers. CloudJoy is now the largest performing arts platform in Malaysia. So, to commemorate this occasion and to celebrate the thriving performing arts scene, we are introducing the Together Gather Grow campaign where you will get to enjoy 10% discount on all the shows on CloudJoy. Just log into your CloudJoy account and key in the promo code BE A PART. And during the checkout, then you will get to enjoy this, this discount. So, if you were here with us last year, I shared with you a vision. A vision of a consolidated platform for all the shows, including online shows, on ground shows, and on demand shows. We were so hesitant about the change of our brand names from Cloud Theatre and Cloud Ticks to Cloud Joy. But thanks to many of your encouragement, yeah, Bobo KL, Deborah, <laughs> and also KL Pack, uh, thanks for your support and encouragement, we took the plunge. And looking back now, it has been one of the best decisions we have ever made because this transition allows us to be more focused and move forward faster as one brand. So this year, I want to share with you an even bigger vision. A vision for Cloud Joy to evolve from just a ticketing platform to become a vessel for even more possibilities. 
we don't want Cloud Joy to be just a platform for shows. We want it to be a platform for the entire performing arts and the power to unlock all these possibilities lies within all of you here in this room with us today. Let me introduce you, Cloud Joy Community. Joy community gathers the entire performing arts community in one place, including people, organizations, opportunities, and resources to make it easier for people to discover and stay up to date on what's happening around the community. And this is truly one by arts for arts creation. Why do I say that? Because we created this for ourselves as performers. We feel like this is something that we want, so we created it. You will see why later. We now have a community homepage where we will feature profiles with upcoming shows. And hey, that's me, the first one. Why? Because I have an upcoming show next week. <laughs> it's called Fog Beard. A Viking Musical Odyssey. It opens next Friday at Kaopak Pentaswan. And tickets are on sale now on cloudjoy.com. So get your tickets now. Okay, let's move on. Commercial time's over. <laughs> In the near future, the community page will also have listings of workshops, classes, and auditions as well. This, yes, Megan, <laughs> this will not only make it easier for theatre practitioners to share information, but also make it easier for the newcomers who want to get into the performing arts scene to find their entry points. Next, we introduced cast and crew profiles last year, but there's not an easy way to discover them. So this year, we added a filter function. Now, you can filter through all the profiles by their location, professions, visual age range, ethnicity, gender, and height. This addition allows anyone who's looking for specific, specific people to filter through our entire database to find the people that they are looking for. And currently, our database has over 150 profiles, including performers, musicians, creative professionals, and stage management team. So, all of you here can start creating a profile today and let us create a more vibrant performing arts community together. Next, we have some exciting news regarding event listing. Allow me to introduce the all-new Dashboard. Dashboard, if you, some of you don't know, Dashboard is where the organizers can create and manage events, ticketing, audience, and also reporting. And with this new Dashboard, organizers can now create and manage an even wider range of events, including shows, workshops, classes, and audition. And now, there will be two methods for creating an event, either by selling or by listing. And it is only chargeable when you want to sell your events with us. But 
if you want to just list your events on CloudJoy, it will be completely free of charge. We do this so that we can gather all the shows in one place, so it's more convenient for tourists and general public to discover what's happening all around Malaysia. And this new dashboard will be launched by end of this year. And that's, all of that is CloudJoy community. With the community homepage to feature profiles, workshops, and auditions, where profiles can now add shows, professions, and personal attributes. And you can filter through our database to find the people that you are looking for. And also, the all-new dashboard where you can either sell or list your events. Ladies and gentlemen, I've shared with you a lot about what we have done. And now let me share with you what we plan to do. In the coming months, we will up our game. We will be actively involved in a few upcoming festivals and conference, including DPAC Festival, Georgetown Festival, and Asian Producers Platform by providing ticketing platform, streaming platform, content creation, and also marketing. And then next year, we aim to expand the reach of performing arts to more new audience. So today, we are thrilled to announce that we will be forging partnerships with various parties to introduce the world of performing arts to the people who have, who have never heard about us before. We are currently in talk with parties from other industries, including Sharp App by Astro, Journeyfy by Malaysia Airlines, Atomi, Oriental Daily News, Scoop Media, which is the latest English news portal in Malaysia, and Eccentrica. We will be looking into collaborations like media exposure, value exchange, and also affiliation programs. And this partnership will help to boost visibility and also amplify the reach of performing arts to an even wider audience. And also next year, it will be a year where CloudJoy expands beyond our own Tana Ae. Our partner in Taiwan, Cloud Theatre Taiwan, will soon be known as CloudJoy Taiwan. And this significant transition, this significant transition will allow both countries to strengthen its ties and to keep promoting collaboration and exchange. And after Taiwan, we will look into more international expansions, starting with our neighboring countries, by bringing CloudJoy's ticketing, streaming, and also community platforms to their local performing arts scene. And once we have established a larger network, we will start to connect them in order to build a global performing arts community. And of course, we have more plans coming. So keep an eye on our social media and our blog as we announce more upcoming projects and initiatives. And so, ladies and gentlemen, let me recap what I have shared with you today. Starting with how our industry is booming, it's 2.5 times more revenue than last year. And CloudJoy emerged where we provide our services for emerging creators at zero cost. And CloudJoy community, where we gather the entire performing arts community in one place to boost our reach and also, also to showcase our vibrancy. The all-new dashboard where organizers can now create and list events by either listing them or selling them on CloudJoy. And CloudJoy now is the largest performing arts platform in Malaysia. As we look ahead, we can't help but to feel very excited for what lies ahead of us. But none of this would be possible without the CloudJoy team. So now I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to our, both our tech team and our community team. 
Without their hard work and dedication over the past three years, none of this would be possible. Thank you. And we have always prided ourselves as a platform where the arts meet technology. And interestingly, nowadays, we find that, both, we find that our team is divided right in the middle. Half of us come from IT background, and the other half from theatre background. So it's very, very interesting to see the sparks when these two, or two groups of introverts and extroverts interact. And the things that happen in the office every single day is a very fascinating sight. But without them, none of this would be possible. So, thank you. And lastly, lastly, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank all of you for all your support throughout the years. And our industry is growing. The win is on our side. And I believe if I believe we are heading in the right direction towards the dream that's, that we have all been dreaming for so long. And I believe if we work, we, if we come together and we work hand in hand, if we don't give up, I won't. I believe we can turn over a new page and we can write the next chapter of Malaysian Performing Arts together.